Welcome. I'm Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on weird and true mysterious stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 1579, written by Bacon Happen is The Vanishing Dumpster Divers. So this happened on the afternoon of March 13th, 2024. I woke up super late, not feeling well, and was running late to a meeting. Frazzled, I hurried out the door into the parking lot towards my car. I have to park a little ways down from my unit as there's limited parking. As I was walking to the car, I could see two people at the dumpster across the lot, about 15 yards from my parked car. They were dumpster diving, which is pretty common in my area and honestly doesn't bug me as long as they put the trash they don't take back in the dumpster. I hate litter bugs. Anyway, they looked like they had just got there, with one in the dumpster handing things out to the other one, who was fluffing out an empty plastic bag to store their newly found treasures. I watched them out of curiosity as I rounded the front corner of my car to get to the driver's side door. While stepping off the curb, my crocs slipped on some mud, causing me to fall back. I grabbed the side of my car and was able to get my feet back under me. When I regained my composure, I looked back to the dumpster, half expecting to see at least one of them giggling at me for being so clumsy, and there was no one. The dumpster was closed and there was no one else in the lot. The exit to the lot is about 100 yards from the dumpster, so there's no way the one in the dumpster could have gotten out and closed it without me hearing. It slams loudly, let alone taking off out of sight in the two seconds I slipped and caught myself. I honestly began to question whether or not I had seen anyone at all, but I distinctly remember seeing them, with the one in the open dumpster rummaging and the other fluffing up the trash bag. And if there was no one else, I would have seen the mud and avoided slipping as I, being clumsy, tend to watch my footing, especially in places where I know there will be mud. So then there had to have been people there I was distracted with originally. Did I slip, hit my head, and die in another universe, and get transported to this universe where there weren't dumpster divers? I don't know, but I had to sit in my car for a few minutes to convince myself I wasn't losing it. So far, the lack of dumpster divers seems to be the only difference, but I'll let you know if that changes. I talked to my fiancé about the event, and he is convinced the dumpster divers were guardian angels that helped me when I fell, as I'm clumsy and more than likely should have hurt myself. Whether it was a glitch or a guardian angel thing, I'm glad I didn't die. Que sont 1579. The Vanishing Dumpster Divers I like where your fiancé's head was going. Guardian angels are a pretty good idea, but I don't think they really fit in this case. When guardian angels inhabit a real material person, they still obey the laws of physics to a certain extent. For instance, if they had super speed and they zipped over to you in the fraction of a second it would take to save your life from, you know, banging your head on the door, that level of speed would create a sonic boom and the g-forces would have ripped the body apart. So the guardian angel may have survived in the spirit form, but the body would have been destroyed. And I don't think guardian angels are supposed to do that. And of course, you would have experienced it, the sonic boom most notably, in the completely eviscerated body. <laughs> I think your original thought that it was quantum immortality, not knowing the word, just a different universe, you probably did die from slipping, banging your head, and now you're in a new universe. And in this one, those dumpster divers weren't here. They may have been in a different dumpster, just a block away. And of course, just look out for other differences in your universe. If you find more anomalies, you'll know that your soul went for a hop and a skip. Case file number 1580, written by Austin Mermaid, The Gem Anomaly. I've heard people jokingly comment, it must be a glitch in the Matrix. I always thought it was just a reference from the Matrix movie, until a few weeks ago when one happened to me. I hope I can explain this clearly. It involves some back and forth between a couple of lockers at my gym. It's a little confusing. There's a bank of small square lockers near the front door that can be used for a jacket or purse, instead of going to the locker room and locking everything in a full-size locker. It's convenient, so when it's cold out, I'll occasionally use it for my jacket and car keys. You set your own four-digit combination, so you don't need to bring your own lock. There have been a few times when I locked my stuff up and forgot which one I used. It's a little embarrassing, because then you have to go to get someone who works there, that has a key, to help you figure out where your stuff is. On the day this happened, I told myself that I wasn't going to forget which locker I used. So I picked the one on the very top right corner, let's call it locker number 6. It was locked, so I decided to use the one directly below it, let's call that one locker number 12. I put my jacket and keys in 12, locked it up, and went to work out. After my workout, I came back, put my combination in number 12, opened the door, and what the hell? Someone else's stuff was in that locker. 
that I had just unlocked with my own combination. It was a pink hoodie. I had worn a black fleece jacket and of course my keys were not in there either. I thought okay, there's a slim chance that somebody else had chosen the exact same combination that I had chosen that day. Maybe I really did get number 6 and my stuff is really in there and I'm losing it? I don't know. So I tried it, using my combination and I couldn't open it. Baffled, I went and got somebody from the front desk and told her what happened. She couldn't explain how someone else's stuff got into my locker, number 12, that I had just unlocked with my combination. She looked at me like I was a weirdo and said she would try and unlock the other ones around it to help me find my stuff. I told her to try number 6 because that's the one I was going to use originally but wasn't able to open it with my combination. She used the key to open it and there was my jacket and keys. I can usually come up with some kind of logical explanation even if it's far-fetched when weird things happen. I'm completely stumped on this one. Case Alt file 1580. The Gym Anomaly. Is this also a case of quantum immortality? People do sadly die in the gym a bit more frequently than in the general populace because you're straining so extremely hard in the gym. It's not that surprising. Blood pressure spikes, cardiovascular activity increases, the heart rate skyrockets. Now, these are good things in general, but if you have an ailment, then doing these kinds of strenuous physical activities can cause it to burst in that singular moment. But it wouldn't explain everything because you had the combination to the locker that wasn't yours in the new universe. But why would the, that combination match? It makes sense that you didn't know the combination for the locker that was yours in the new universe. But why would you know the one that wasn't yours? Why would it be the same? Because it was a different person that set it up for locker number 12. Hmm. But it is technically possible that it was just a coincidence. In this new universe, the person that did take locker 12 had the same combination as yours. I think it's probably four digits. I don't know if you mentioned how many digits it was. If it's four digits, then I think it's like 10,000 possible combination differences. So that's a lot, but it's not so much that it is completely out of the realm of possibility. And now time for the joke of the day. I excel at sleeping. In fact, I can do it with my eyes closed. 